So we're really excited and grateful to the organisers of ASH for selecting our region-wide data set in Hodgkin lymphoma to be presented in the oral session. So what we've done is looked at 10 years of data from across the east of England where we've tra treated patients with advanced Hodgkin's with either ABVD or escalated BCOP depending on patient and clinician preference. And we've lined this up against the five-year follow-up of the RATHL trial, which is the multinational trial we re were recruiting to in the UK. And we've really looked at outcomes for the whole cohort and looked at outcomes for higher risk patients. And it's, it's, it's really good data. It's allowed us to show, I think, what has been seen across the world in clinical trials, that patients treated with escalated BACOP have a first remission progression-free survival advantage, and that's uh, in all subgroups. But what it's also shown with longer follow-up, overall survivals for both approaches really are quite similar, and that's probably even the case with the higher-risk patients. So treating with escalated BACOP or ABVD in the real world, it's giving very similar data to trial results, and although you get quite a chunky progression-free survival advantage using these more intensive therapies from up front. Does it translate into long-term survival? Well, probably not. So there's a lot you can discuss with your patients and I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to show that data on Monday.